All right, we are live on Mongoose <laughs> with a plane flying overhead. Um, here's Pietro. Hello. Sorry about that. So we're live on Mongoose in Griffin Bay. And there's the world flag, World Ocean Day. Look at all the blue on that planet. Look at all the blue on the planet right here in front of us. It's 8th of June, World Ocean Day. And I was thinking, what, what have we done for the ocean lately? What has the ocean done for us lately? It seems like it, there's a lot of oxygen, food, cool places to explore. Um, really interesting creatures, but we're putting a lot of junk into it, so we need to think about it a little bit. So we're out here in a 39-year-old plywood sailboat, schooner, two masts. We only have the two foresail and the mainsail up, hard enough while we deal with the gusts and uh yeah Pietro's my brother he came to visit <laughs> with his wife and daughter that's just two of us out we're up here in Salmon Island that's American Camp uh National Historic Park we got Lopez Island in the background we have the uh very far over the lower slopes of Mount Baker visible in the clouds Orcas Island over this way, more Salmon Island in the foreground, Turtleback on Orcas. And we're just happy to be out here. The Washington 360 is in its second day. Some wind filling in so the uh, sailors are going to start to uh, catch up to the human power craft. So go Washington 360. Awesome. Check it out. Washington360.org. It's a great way to celebrate World Oceans Day. Pan on over. It's after eight o'clock in the evening. Welcome to the high latitudes of indeed of uh, continental U.S. So the sun's still up. <laughs> Hi, Phoebe. I see you. <laughs> thanks for thanks for checking in. This is Mongoose, my little boat. Phoebe's ch checking in from Jamaica. Uh -huh. From Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica. Hello. She is the mermaid ukulele. Check her out if you want ukulele lessons from Jamaica. Oh. Yeah, I want ukulele lessons from Jamaica. Just been too busy lately. She wants to come sail up here too. How's the sound, Phoebe? Great. I'm actually, this is, the, the visual is through a dry bag so that we won't lose, we get the phone wet. But I thought it would cut the wind noise, so that would be good. Ah, sweet, having the late evening sun out. Excellent, that's so great. Thank you, Phoebe, thanks for the feedback. All right, for those of you who are missing this, we'll, uh, we'll endeavor to post it on YouTube a little later. And uh, this is the first of hopefully many of these where I'm just gonna capture moments out on the water or thinking about the water or thinking about environmental issues and things we can do. Because um, 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water and very few of us get out there to explore it and to see what it has to offer and see how we are impacting it and um, yeah so we want to encourage that we want to encourage people to get on the water do it safely do it with instruction do it with groups do it with people with experience gain experience take other people out um, and see the wonders of it look at this water texture out here we just got these little wavelets they're like two three inches high um, 
And one of the cool things about all that, it's information. And um, lately, I'm not sure if they're back, I need to double check, but Hokulea, a canoe from Hawaii, um, sailing from Hawaii down to the doldrums, as many people call it, but the, technically the intertropical convergence zone, on a training voyage to train more sailors on traditional Hawaiian double hull canoe. Um, and they were just doing that recently. I think they were leaving in late May um, to head down and back. And they're using this information that you see right here, these ripples, the feel of the wind, the stars, the, the weather, even marine life to help guide them as opposed to GPS. Um, you never know how long those satellites are going to stay up there. Um, anyway, even when you are using GPS, the GPS can't see where you're going, can't see wind gusts, can't tell um, you know, what the currents are doing, although it can tell you what it's predicted to be doing, but what's actually going on. So it's really kind of nice to be out and feeling the environment and not uh, just experiencing it virtually. So my friend Phoebe here who's, who's watching, she gets in the ocean almost every single day, even when she's in cold places, so even though she's living in a warm place now. Looking like she'll be there a while. Maybe the rest of her life. <laughs> um, but, yeah, getting immersing yourself in the environment. However that is. Getting out into the woods. Getting into the water. Yeah, look at the sun on this boat. And check out this flag. This uh, actual composite image of the Earth. we got uh, the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula up there. The other side has uh, Central and North America. Um, and the flag's made of cotton, so as it shreds, it's not putting plastic in the ocean. <laughs> um, Phoebe's asking if I built this boat. No, I have rebuilt it twice, though. <laughs> it was built in 1982, I believe, in British Columbia. And I bought her in 2000, right after a little Y2K New Year's celebration in Victoria and saw it on a walk for sale and got an extreming deal on this boat. The sails, one sail in this boat is worth more than I paid for the whole entire boat. Um, but it's until today that I've had the capacity, a, a good capacity to tow it to a boat ramp and launch it. Um, so yeah, she's plywood boat designed, I believe in the late 70s, early 80s. And Phil Bolger is the designer. It's called a, a schooner without the H in the word schooner. And it's in a book called 30 Odd Boats. And yep, this is an odd boat. Works for an odd sailor. Um, hey Cal, good to see you. Yes, I'm sailing live. This is the thing. <laughs> We're going to do more of this. Um, and my brother's here, Pietro, from Berkeley. And yes, we are sailing live. And just dealing with some gusts. And, I'm just going to say it again, um, right now is the Washington 360, the, a brand new race run by the Northwest Maritime Center. And there's like 50 boats that are going all the way to, from Port Townsend to Olympia, turning around a buoy there going up behind, or I should say to the east side of Bell, uh, Whidbey Island, up to Bellingham, around a buoy there, up to Point Roberts, which is right on the Canadian border, and then back to Port Townsend. And so far, until today, this yesterday and through the night, the human-powered boats have actually done the best. They've been leading, because there's been such light wind, but the wind has been filling in, and I think uh, that's all about to change. But even the sailing boats... Um, well, Phoebe says hi, Pietro. Hi. And uh, even the sailing boats are uh, have human power. So they, my friend Carl Kruger and his daughter Dagny, and two other women. I apologize, I forgot their name. On Team uh, Mustang uh, Survival and Ocean Watch. It's the two uh, names on their team. They uh, are in a Melges 24 with pedal drive. So when there was not much wind, they were pedaling. Two people could pedal at the same time, sitting across from each other. 
and a whole bunch of the boats have pedal drive which is a really awesome uh, development on that we're gonna have to uh, I think we're gonna attack you're gonna witness attack because we're coming up on a reef here so hang on hopefully we won't lose you all right we'll set self tending sails so we're just gonna put the tiller down Nope, just let it be. She tacks like a dream with that dagger board. Check out that off-center dagger board over there to the starboard side of the main mast. She pops up. Yeah, it's got a little buoyancy. <laughs> Keep turning ah, through the sunset. Ah. We're going to head back towards town. So if you can see now, Try to be steady for y'all. Um, Orcas Island is the big island in the background. Two lobes of it. I'll try to point my finger. That's Orcas Island, and this is Turtleback Mountain, also on Orcas Island. Sorry about that. <coughs> Over, let's put the finger in the place there. Over here, this is Lopez Island, and then we're just off of San Juan Island over here. Oh, there's a gust. Oh. <laughs> You see it, you have it live here. <laughs> Trying to keep the boat dry side up, wet side down. And uh, chatting to you over the. Uh, over the that's great, Cal. I'm glad it feels like you're sailing with us. <laughs> that's the idea. Look. Nothing like sailing within cell service. We can do this. There we go. A little bit of a lull. Yeah, check out these clouds here. I'm going to give you some more sky view. Awesome clouds up here. And then the sun. Huh? One of my friends who is uh, um, sort of helping me out with the idea of doing Facebook Live, she said, plan for five minutes. You can always go longer. Well, I think we already have. Um, I don't even have a set clock visible on here. My bro taking a picture of me, taking a picture of him. Check out these hood sails. 1982 came with four hood sails. A jib, foresail, mainsail, and a spinnaker cloth main staysail. Which we're not, we don't have up. Um, four, I mean, that's probably a couple of thousand dollars worth of sails. I got this boat for $500 Canadian back when... <laughs> The exchange was very favorable to Americans. Um, but, like I said, I've had to rebuild it twice. I actually just built a trailer for it. 12 minutes. Thanks, Phoebe. Um, and who else? Somebody else is here. Anna. Wow. Hi, Anna. It's been a long time. Did you want? You miss going sailing? Here you are. You're sailing with us now. Here's my bro, Pietro. He's from uh, from Berkeley. This is Anna. I'm pretty sure she's in Santa Cruz. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, at least she was last I knew. Doing recycling, is that right? And she and she went to Easter Island, but last was two years ago, right? That was amazing. Definitely. She's doing recycling? Yeah, she, I think she was like helping run a recycling program. She's, what do we do with lithium batteries? <laughs> okay, there you go. What do we do with lithium batteries? Is the question. Hopefully, we can recycle and use the lithium again instead of mining more. So, speaking of which, look at the solar panel here. I've got more solar. That's going to a... Uh, I bought this off a guy from the Race to Alaska when we were in Alaska in Ketchikan. And then this is named Dan Gilbert. Thank you, Dan Gilbert, sponsor. He sold it to me at the cheap. And it goes to an awesome little battery that sat in my shop for four years. And when I put the voltmeter on it... Yeah, you can't tell, can you? Um, and... Uh, it was holding 13.3 volts after four years not being neglected. I'll have to maybe put them on the what the company is. It's pretty amazing. Oh gosh, I don't know. Can I zoom while we're doing this? I'm going to give it a try. Oh Here. my goodness, that sunset. Woo! Oh, look at that. I can zoom. All right, I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see the near Cascade Mountains. I'm going to try to hold it really still. You see the peaks in the background there? It's just those are the lower slopes of Mount Baker and the Sisters Range. And um, yeah, most of the mountains are in the cloud. And Mount Baker is probably about as high as those cumulus are over there, 10,700 feet. But we can't see it because it's in the clouds, probably generating clouds. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna zoom back in. So holding it steady is pretty challenging. Do the near zone thing. All right. I'll check out the gull. There you go. Yeah, probably too pixelated. Cormorant flying by. The bluffs of Lopez lighting up over there. Cool. I think this top halyard still needs to be a little tighter. Yeah, you want to tighten up the peak halyard? That's the one on the left there. Yeah. My bro's learning how to sail a schooner, Phoebe. Little a schooner. 23 feet, 6 from bow to stern. About 26 with the bow sprit. Look at that plank bow sprit up there. Oh, you can't see it. So if you keep some wrap on the cleat, it'll help you. How's that? That looks great. So okay. try to take up all the slack. All right, hold on. Yep. Right. Who's that in the text? Somebody said, it's so cutie. I can't tell who said that. Was that Phoebe? I can't tell. I don't think that was her. Um, well, I'm getting I'm getting messages. I'm, lear I'm learning on the go here with this Facebook Live thing. And we'll, we'll chat later, Phoebe, see how I did. <laughs> All right. That's great. Check out this sail shape here. This has been a crinkled sail for a few years. So. Yeah, we got, he, he peaked it up. He, yeah. Nice. It is a foil. All right. Now we got too much weight to win. We're, oh, yeah. That's we're gonna, my So this little <laughs> island up here, I don't know if you can see it, we're coming up. It has a little house with a flag. We'll get a closer shot. It's called Dinner Island. Private island. We've got a clear reef on the east side of it. Southeast oh. side of it. Are we shaving a little closer to that reef? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> what, you mean you don't have sonar? Are you sailing by your wits? I'm so proud of you. This is an excellent live. This must be Phoebe. Thank you, Phoebe. Well, it's the thing. I don't have time to edit videos, sadly, so we're just going to make it happen here, like we're teaching. The sunlight is the color of butter. Wow, look at that. I'm so glad that it's working through the, uh, the, the bag. I'm sorry about the visual maybe being a little fuzzy because of the going through the vinyl, but I think the, the sound is a lot better going through the plastic than having the wind blow on the microphone. Margaret, is that you? I think Margaret's on. <laughs> My sister-in-law, Margaret, I think is on uh, watching Facebook Live. Yes, Margaret, we're sailing in Griffin Bay. She's a hot sailor down in on the Columbia River. I haven't sailed much lately, but maybe we can change that. The sky is the color of cobalt. Nice. You, you heard it straight from my brother. Pietro, the sky is color of cobalt, and the, the, the sunlight, the sunlight on the sails is the color of butter. Yep. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So, Margaret, you can't see the flags Elizabeth sewed there on the starboard side, but they're world flags on cotton that she found through, what's that, spoon? Spoon flower? Spoon flower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spoon flower. Thanks, you knew oh, it. Oh, yeah. She found them spoon flower and then ordered the cloth and then stitched uh, two world flags with uh, two different views of the world like uh, the Americas and then um, like East Africa and the Middle East um, it was when we pulled up to the parking lot at the boat ramp the uh, sailing club was out and it was blowing like it was like 20 knots at least and there was all these little lasers zipping around and coming in and I'm so glad it's not 20 knots. Yeah, we're, I'm so <laughs> glad it's not 20 knots right now, too. Oh, my God. So, um, just to give you a little tour here, um, so I got, there's a solar panel like added with this added deck, and then forward, in the forward cockpit, we put in a sliding seat arrangement because I was supposed to be participating in the Washington 360 race that's happening right now. 
but I was behind the ball and not ready in time. Um, and we actually haven't tried the sliding. Well, I, I think I took a couple strokes when we were trying to leave the dock, but um, I'm not totally sold on it. It eats up a lot of space. I mean, I'm sure it would scoot the boat along human power a lot better than uh, fixed seat oars. But um, oh, that that needs it says not that needs to be a song. The sky is the color of cobalt, and then it says and dot dot dot. Probably the the sun is the color of butter. Um, well, if that's Phoebe, or if Phoebe you're paying attention here, um, I'm thinking uh, I want some songs from you, written songs from you, uh, with your ukulele, and that you can teach us to sing, and you can record. Do something in seven. What? Seven two. Why? Bump, 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 bump. Kind of rocks along. I like seven. Seven two? That That's a like Balkan. That's really weird. It's really weird, yeah. Right. I've done music. five four. Take take five That's five right. four. Yeah. Um, all right, so here's Dinner Island. There's a little reef over here. Maybe we'll see if we can scoot. Oh, it's a little sketchy to do this. Scoot over and see if we can pick up some seals for you all to see. Oh, you want to get that close, like with a webcam? <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure we'll get that close, but. Um, uh, now, are they just seals, or are they actually like sea lions and like? No, these are stellars. harbor. These are harbor seals. There okay. are sea lions around, but they. Well, yeah. San Francisco Bay, you know, they've got. Yeah, you have lions. the California sea lions. They get kind of aggressive. We have them, and we have the uh, stellar sea lions, which are much bigger. Yeah, I saw one off the. Was it? So I'll try zooming in, so we can see the reef without us getting too close to it. So this is Dinner Island. I know it's going to be pixelated, and all right, so. If you just look there, you can see the ledges, not reef like Caribbean reefs, rocks. Um, and I'm trying to see if any seals are hauled out. Actually, I don't see, oh, maybe, I'm oh, sorry. Um, there's definitely some gulls over there. Anyway, I'll pan over and so you can see the sunset. Not quite sunset yet. Zoomed in. Oh wow! I'm sorry. I need to. Uh, I wasn't scrolling this the the uh, the chat here. Now I see that you all been chat talking a lot more. Did you want to fall this far off? Yeah, I don't want to get closer to the island. Okay. Oh, here it is. That needs to be a song. The sky is a color of cobalt, and the sunlight is a color of butter. Yep, that was from Phoebe. Yep, we will do it. Okay, Phoebe's gonna write a song. Excellent. How about the, the color of the sunlight on the water? How about that? I'm going to pan up. I'm going to zoom back out. Just, oh. and away Somebody's got to go. have their hand on the tiller. <laughs> <laughs> this is live. This is live. It, mistakes are being made. Right, I'm going to zoom back out so that you all don't get seasick. There we go. Oh, I think I just lost the main sheet. Oh, I got it. Okay. In old Arabic books, they used to say that the sea was the color of hammered lead. Wow. Yeah. Well, like on a on a rainy day. Yeah. That gets that way. Yeah. Look at the flag. I don't know if you can see the American flag over there to the right of the sunset. Oh, backlit. Yeah. You may not be able to pick that up. Maybe you can. And where we launched. Um, it's a park called Jackson's Beach, and it's right below an old gravel pit that there's a, a new road that goes across the east end of it called Missing Mountain Road. So that little dip in the hill there where you can see Turtleback Mountain in the background on Orcas Island, there was a big hill there, and they carved it out. And they, they shipped off all the gravel to be like aggregate for cement and stuff, but they've stopped doing that because they the pit, they actually reached uh, sea level. And it became a little less um, profitable, I should say. Um, so now that's a park. And so you can walk around and you can go down in the pit. I think it could be like an interesting musical venue. Oh, there's Margaret. Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just scrolling up to your text. Hi, Margaret. And...
Oh, it's bouncing around. I'm getting starting over each time I scroll. Sorry, if it's scrolling through a uh, dry bag for the phone is uh, not totally easy. Cool. All right, so Margaret, there's Pietro, my brother. Oh, I'm still zoomed a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out a little more. Wow, this one behind that island is We probably haven't seen each other since the wedding. Hi. Hi, there's my brother. <laughs> yeah, we're all a little grayer. Um, oh, there we go. That's kind of a nice backlit dinner island. So look at the Douglas fir. Check out behind us, Beatrice. So you see the mm. when I'm looking at the sunset through the uh, the trees there. Oh, oh sweet. But Margaret says it's been many years before babies. Yes, they're uh, Sophia's 19. She's 19. Yeah, Sophia is 19 years old. And she's up uh, visiting with uh, Pietro and Lizzie. Yep. They just finished her second year of uh, college, art school in Lagoon, yeah. Laguna Beach. For a internship at Netflix. Yeah. She's doing very well with her animation. Yeah. That's why I keep wanting her and Siobhan to uh, connect. But, um, yeah, so the sun popped out, so it's maybe a little bit much for y'all to look at, but maybe not. Tell me, is that sun too intense or does that look kind of nice? again without it bouncing back. No, I'm not able to uh, do that. So we've got to head up Windmore to get back to that cannery okay. over there. So let's shoot the view. Let's see if I can, yeah, shoot in the main a little bit. Or off in the fore. There you go. Oh, not too much. Remember, put it right at the side of the boat. There you go. Because you were saying what I was, I was back luffing yours, or what was it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it was the yours was filling, it was luffing my sail. Yeah. So then what we want to have is your sail, and this is one of the theories, is that your sail is sending faster air over the convex side of my sail right. to uh, create more lift with my create sail. Oh so, yeah. As Bernoulli would say. Ah, uh, Margaret, we're, I think it's you. Um, I'm sailing Mongoose, my little 26-foot uh, uh, schooner. And um, we I just finished rebuilding her um, for the Washington 360, but I didn't quite get to Port Townsend in time. I didn't get to Port Townsend at all. I actually ended up stepping back from the race Sunday night at probably 10 o'clock with the race starting at 6 a.m. in Port Townsend, and I was still in the driveway. So some a lot of lessons learned there. Um, still learning them, um, you know. And I was watching my friends post videos of training uh, evenings and sailing around and and uh, you know all that. And I'm like, and I, my boat wasn't even ready. That's that's a, that's a serious sign. Um, yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but uh, yes, yes, the one in the driveway. Um, the one in the driveway is now in the water sailing live on Facebook. <laughs> um, yeah, a 39-year-old Bulger schooner from Victoria. It's just too cute to pass up and too cheap to pass up. And uh, she's a joy. She doesn't need a lot of wind to, to scoot along. I wish I could do um, Navionics and Facebook at the same time, because then I could tell you how fast. But we were up, we were almost to six knots earlier today. In this little tiny boat um, with just two sails up. I mean, we don't have the jib up. And um, yeah, I was kind of, I was like, oh, let's see how fast we're going. And I was like, whoa, 5.8. And that was after you could feel a rush of, of speed. So I think we probably were at six or a little more. The legs flapping up against the, the sail. Up speed now for sure. Yeah, we are. I'm probably doing it four, four and a half now. And we're pointing plenty well into the wind 
Make sure you can slack off a little bit. I'm slacking off a little. Yeah. Ease the sheet. Okay. Ease it a little more. A little more? Yep. I'm luffing. Okay, now that now I can get back on course. You can try hauling just a little bit. So we got a gust and a bit of a wind shift at the same time. Hey, I know what I need to try to do. I don't know if I can figure this out while we're doing it. So see if I can flip the phone. See, I'm going to do a selfie. I do have the phone rather close to my face because it's on a lanyard. I'll pull it away. Here we go. Learning on the go here, all right? There we go. There I am, John. Or as many of you know, Sockeye. Yeah, it's a hard chine. And here we are. So there's Dinner Island. And me, and uh, my race to Alaska hat. And I haven't gotten a Washington 360 hat yet. I haven't earned that. Yeah, so here we are. And uh, there's the stern of the boat. There's the tiller. Out to the, uh, the boom. And I think maybe I'll flip it back around. It's not all about me. It's about the boat and sailing and all that sort of thing. There we go. I did it. I learned it. Yay. That's definitely fun times. Alright. Oh yeah, the colors are getting nice with the sun getting low like that. Goodness, yeah. Get the up into the sky to darken it a little bit. I'm gonna put the lanyard back around my head. about the jerkiness there. I am so happy that it's working through the through the case. I was worried about the visual, but more worried about the wind noise. It's so annoying. So as we come in, um, we're not there yet. We've got a quarter mile or so. Um, we're probably going to sign off. We're going to have, wanna, our, gonna have our hands full. The, you want to row? Yeah, maybe. I can hold that. Well, at least we could we could drop the sail. Oh, we can't drop the foresail in row, can we? I didn't even think about that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of challenges here. Yeah, we'll figure that out once we get in. We could drop it and skew it off to the side. Uh, no, the sails are hood sails. Check them out. Hood sails. Oh, you want to see the rowing? Okay, we'll figure out how to do the rowing. Um, so these are hood sails. So this boat came with four hood sails. Um, it was built in '82. I bought it in 2000. I think the sails were newer than '82. Could be wrong though. They're just well kept. Um, but yeah, so they were. Um, yeah, they were worth more than I paid for the boat by a lot. Like one sail was worth more than I paid for the boat. Um, so yeah, no, uh, Hasi didn't uh, make the sails. Hasi is retired. She uh, has now sold the business to the Port Townsend Shipwrights Co-op. So the, the loft will continue making sails, but she can, and now she's, she's running for port commissioner. <laughs> so she turned 70, retired from her business of 40 plus years, and now is running for port commissioner. She's, Still wants to make a difference in the world. We're talking about Carol Hasse. She's an um, amazing woman, makes some of the best cruising sails in the world over in Port Townsend, or has. And now she's uh, moving on to the next phase of maybe being a politician. Service. It's all about service. Yay. Yeah. That's a word we should hear from political leaders once again. Okay. Being a public servant. <laughs> yes. What are they working for? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to show the sky again because it's, it's getting really pretty. Got to have clouds for a good sunset. Check that out. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Good for her. Yeah, it's so awesome. I look forward to seeing her again soon. All right. It's like Phoebe left, but Anna, is that you still there? Anna and Margaret still on. Again, I'll try to post this on face uh, on uh, YouTube later. Sorry, still learning. And um, 
and uh, see what kind of feedback we get. But this is kind of cool. Sound the boat. Cell range, good data. Let's see what the double sunset looks like. I'll head look to the east. Oh yeah. There's some good clouds over there too. Oh yeah. Back over old Anacortes, Anna. There's some darkness there. Wow, look at that. That's kind of well, cool. Need to maintain the field. Yep. Like how kind of abstract that's looking right there. Watercolor. Yeah, it's very watercolor. Yeah, a big wash. All right. I gotta watch where I'm going here. Well, we've got to be like within 30 degrees of the wind. We're sailing very close to the wind, aren't we? Uh, well, pretty close. I mean, let's see. So if we, I'm gonna stand up for a moment. We'll get a wind angle. Look at the water, so you can see the waves. Yeah. Hope I let the tiller go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So let's, we'll sail. Let's see how close to the wind we can sail. We'll pull the main a little more. Closer than 45. And then there's the. Uh, so there's the true wind. Look at the center line of the boat. So yeah, she she points pretty well. I think being skinny, having a deep dagger board. Okay, I'll take a photo of the outside too. Um, yeah, I'll take a photo when, well, maybe when she's at the dock or when she's on the trailer. Um, all right, how are we gonna do this here? I wish I brought my little spring clamp thing. I have a, a clamp to hold the phone to the gunnel. And I, as long as I have it tied on, we could keep on doing this if I had brought that with me. So maybe next time. Um, yeah, because it'd be cool to be hands-free. I mean, I'm, I'm steering with my armpit and phone in hand and main sheet in my left hand. Well, this is going to be fun. We're going to run downwind towards the boat ramp. That's going to be a little exciting. <laughs> Actually, here, let's do this. So let's... No, you're right. We still got to do that. It's, we drop the sails. They're in the way, so... I think we just got to completely slack that one, right? Yeah. Like well, what we it. can do, is we're gonna jibe down by the uh, by the, the boat ramp dock. Okay. But we'll stay over where the wind has died down, and then we'll we'll do a hopefully a, a real slow jibe, and then head east towards the dock, and um, maybe drop the sails and row a little bit. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, might need to row. <laughs> Oh, well, right now we don't. We're scooting right now. We're doing three and a half, four knots. Now, what's that up ahead? <laughs> GoPro attached ahead? Yeah, but um, then it's just video and it's not live. Although I think there might be a way to do that. Yeah, that looks like a stump in the water, doesn't it? It does. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll avoid that. Yeah, look at see that. The piling. It doesn't seem to be moving relatively. <laughs> a deadhead. Mm -hmm. This is our wonderful uncharted hazards in the northwest. Oh, there's a bunch of people in blue suits over there. Some kind of blue. They're doing some sort of Maybe it's a blue man group. They're all wearing the same suits. It's kind of funny. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, I don't know if you can see that over there. It's pretty tiny, probably on your screen. By the van, there's a whole bunch of people in blue. That's what the work clothes are in France. All the labor type folks are wear blue. If you're working in a boatyard or construction or... Oui, mais bleu. It's in the laundry. Okay, we're getting I think there is a way to connect the GoPro to Facebook. Yeah, I think it has a little symbol. I think it might connect to the phone and then use the phone to connect to uh, cell service. So I've, I've got to look into it. But yeah, that would be cool. Just use the phone as a tool for that. All right, so I think we're in a... I think we're going to drop the sails while we're out here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe let's. I'll have you do that. Okay. So if you actually no, I'm going to have you hold the phone. I'm going to go do it. That makes a lot of sense. All right. All right. So, is it laying on your head? Just keep it so that it's a decent visual. Mm-hmm. I'll get my finger out of the lens. How's that? Fine idea. 
We're just letting the uh, tiller go. Yeah, I'm not sure if they can hear you. Wow. Almost looks like Northern Lights up there. Look at that sunset. My goodness. Mm. All right, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit higher angle here. All right. People can see what you're up to. This is madness. The colors of the sunset are pretty amazing, but the colors of the double sunset behind you oh, are moment? epic. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> now we're. I know. I gotta go this down there. It's all right. I'm not practicing. This is this is uh, novel for me as well, managing a tiller and. Uh, oh, I want to be on the other side of the dock. That's what I was wondering about. Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, okay. Tell you what, oh, everybody else can see this. Oh my gosh, look what you can do here. Oh, okay. Run away from it, and then we'll. Okay. We want to come in bow that way. All right. I think. Actually, you know what we want to do is come in sideways. So go down that way. All right. Actually, we'll do, we'll do a full loop support like you're doing. Okay. We'll come, we'll come in near the end. All right. 
Ah, uh, and there's the sunset. So these oars, I gotta tell you, I don't know if they can hear me, but these oars were in the 19, uh, 2017 race to Alaska. They were not the oars on our boat. They were on the boat uh, Hold Fast of Team Kelp. And <laughs> uh, later that summer, they said, you can have our, I was looking for oars, they said, you can have our oars. We never want to row that boat again. And I was like, awesome, all right, free oars. And they're not perfect. They're actually old fiberglass oars. And nobody uses them throwing anymore. They I'm straightening up. Fiber. Nope, nope, not yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Remember the wind is here? Yeah. So they want the boat pointed that way when we come to the dock. Okay. We drift away a little bit. Alright. You want me to turn this as well? Alright. I don't think you're going to do that. Alright. We are now dead perpendicular to the dock. Cool. Not quite dead into the wind yet. No, we're not. Yeah. No, by the world flags. Look at those lovely world flags. Yay. Hey, Elizabeth. Okay, now I'm going to row into the wind. I guess the center of the tower. Okay. Oh, by the way, they have said, yes, we can hear you. Great. Awesome. Yeah. That's impressive. I'm like 10 minutes from the phone. Okay. Did you get to the dock before the boat drifts away? That's it. Maybe Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want to send me what little oar, little paddle, I don't think I'll be able to do tiller, Facebook streaming, and paddling. But you know. Yeah, but I got the dock line cleared. So. Ah, uh, okay. Did we say we were live? We are, we are. Mistakes are made. Uh oh. Mistakes, Mistakes are made. Mistakes are made. Yes, Facebook. learning is happening on Facebook. <laughs> yes. If it was perfect, it wouldn't be as interesting, right? <laughs> I guess not. Get a little momentum forward. Yeah. And then the question is, is it enough momentum forward? That is the question. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> It's a Donnie, Donnie Yen. <laughs> the basket was right there because I ran off the basket with the boat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, you think the boat the other way, don't we? <laughs> I forgot. To hold. tow it out? To hold. It's a trailer business. Yeah, I'm going to pull the dagger board. We might need to stop this Facebook streaming. I might need more hands. <laughs> okay. I'll come and join So is that dock line on that starboard side? Where we were mucking around, we just tucked it behind the door? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's under this under the sail here. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can do against the, the bow line towards the dock. Alright, hold on. And yeah, actually if you can pull the I'm trying to draw it all up. No. Okay. Yep. Oh. Excuse me? 
I, I cannot tell. I cannot tell. My daggerboard! Hello. Hello. Oh. Ha. No. Nah, it's just, it, I can't pull it out one handed. Alright. Oh, I, I guess I can pull it out one handed. Now, yeah, just to not drop it in the water. That would be awkward. There we go. Lovely. Yeah. I'm not sure if I've got it prepped well enough, but rope! Yay! There we go. Alrighty. So there's the boat. So we're gonna focus again. There we go. And I'll go to the bow. So she's got this little clipper bow, which is kind of cool with a plank bow sprit. This will get a, there you go. So there's mongoose. So you get a better sense of what we were on. I realized recently that um, she actually is like a plywood um, and it, boat that is a silhouette, looks a lot like a Chesapeake Bay log canoe. Because she's 20, I mean with a Vosper, she's 26 feet, but the beam is 6 feet. So it's, it's pretty, no it's 5 feet, it's 5 feet, 60 inches. So pretty long and skinny. Kind of a, kind of a canoe boat. All right, folks. Well, I think I would love to keep on doing this, but I think we're going to try to pack and get, get her hauled out and uh, get going. So you saw a little of funky Rowan chafing on the sail, and uh, there she looks from the outside. I didn't put the bootstripe waterline in this time, just time rise, but I had a green bootstripe on there before. But I think she still looks pretty cool, just all white. And... Uh, Originally had the yellow deck, so I kind of went with the brighter yellow. And you can't really see it in this light. But, all right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And again, I'll try to put this on YouTube, and hopefully it won't look too crazy and janky. Um, but hey. And, uh, yeah, love y'all. Happy World Ocean Day. And it's a beautiful one. And check the tracker on the Washington 360. Um wa360.org will take you to really Northwest Maritime slash Washington 360 and then um, you can go to the tracker and they are well, what are they now like 30 36 hours in now I think a little more 38 hours into the race and uh, 360 miles around the Washington side of the Sailor Sea all right good night y'all thanks for joining See you next time. I'll try to be more scheduled about it. Bye. Bye, Pietro.